ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਇਨ ਫੋਕਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਰਵਿੰਦਰ ਕੌਰ ਅੰਟਾਰੀਓ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਹਰ ਸਾਲ ਸਮਰ ਗੇਮਸ ਆਯੋਜਿਤ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਤੇ 2017 ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਵਾਰ ਇਹ ਚੈਲੰਜ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਪੀਲ ਰੀਜਨਲ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਓਲੰਪਿਕਸ ਨਾਲ ਪਾਰਟਨਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਮਰ ਗੇਮਸ ਆਯੋਜਿਤ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਗੇਮਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਖਾਸ ਐਸੇ ਸੰਬੰਧੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਜ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਨੇ ਪੀਲ ਰੀਜਨਲ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਤੋਂ ਹਰਿੰਦਰ ਸੋਹੀ ਐਥਲੀਟ ਕੈਵਨ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਕੈਵਨ ਦੇ ਫਾਦਰ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਓਲੰਪਿਕਸ ਵਿੱਚ 27 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟਡ ਨੇ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟਡ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਓਲੰਪਿਕਸ ਫਰਮ ਲਾਸਟ 27 ਇਅਰਸ ਜਸਟ ਟੈਲ ਅਸ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਓਲੰਪਿਕਸ ਆਲ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਓਲੰਪਿਕਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਫਾਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਿਦ ਇੰਟੈਲੈਕਚੁਅਲ ਡਿਸਬਿਲਿਟੀਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡਸ ਥੈਮ ਅ ਪਲੇਸ ਟੂ ਪਲੇ ਲਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਪਲੇ ਕੰਪੀਟੀਟਿਵ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਐਵਰੀਵਨਸ ਲਾਈਫ competitive sports especially for, for people with intellectual disabilities teach not only teaches them how to learn play the game be able to compete like everyone else in the world but and to give them those opportunities but what it te- teaches especially is sport teaches social and life skills and for and for people with intellectual disabilities that's a huge thing because it teaches you and for everyone it teaches us the life and social skills that we need to go out into the workplace how to go out and to meet everyone around but especially to do that and Kevin you know in Kevin's case particularly he has had a full-time job now for 17 years and that's due to the social and life skills that he learned through special olympics he's been involved with special olympics since he was 12 years old so he's been involved him and i have been involved all that time together and uh it certainly goes a long way in special olympics itself you know i, I do a lot of things for for special olympics as well as talking and i learn a lot too and the interesting fact is that 60% of all the athletes in special olympics have some kind of job due to their involvement with special olympics and being in in the sports and everything that sports teaches you definitely special olympics gives a platform to the athletes to make them feel that they belong and you have seen this journey for 27 years what changes you think this platform has given to kevin's life well it's it's made everything in kevin's life without all of the it's given him the opportunities to go places that we would only dream of going to do things that we would never have dreamed that he would be able to do uh when you have a uh a, a, a sibling uh, uh you you as a parent of a person with an intellectual disability you know when they're born and everything else and you're that's when you really confront it and you suddenly realize and you're told all the doom and gloom that you know they're not going to be able to do this they're not going to be able to do that and then you find out that there's a lot of things that they can do. They can do. Yes. And then when you get involved like with Special Olympics and you see what you can take and what you can develop and that they can learn and given the opportunity in the right settings, it's amazing what you can do. Without all of that support, Kevin isn't the person he is today. And it's not I guess what people forget is they think Special Olympics is also about the athletes about them and everything else but in reality it's not just about the athletes the family benefits the rest of the world benefits from these people they learn so much from from people like Kevin okay uh, Kevin first of all congratulations for winning mm-hmm. the gold medal in Macau when did you realize you really wanted to play golf and to compete eat, and make new friends That's How long you been golfing for Kevin? Uh, I've been golfing for uh say about 6. So long time, eh? Yeah. You really enjoy it? Yes. And you got influenced towards golf, uh, you got inspired by your uncle? Yes. You you saw him playing golf? Yes. And what is the story behind uh, you always keep a tag in your bag that you do this for your uncle? Uh to to remember him and by hmm. so uh, i have to ask you dad now you're the caddy 
So on the golf course, is he is he a good boss? Yeah. Or is the caddy the boss? <laughs> Who's in charge on the golf course? Is it Kevin? Or? It's the caddy. The caddy's yeah. in charge, okay. He's in charge. So Kevin, how do you know what clubs to play? And uh, like, how do you know the distance and what club to use? Is that from your dad or is that just stuff you've learned yourself over the years of playing golf? I had to, I had to learn, learn which club I had to use in my bag because um, in some part I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and some part I do know. I've, I've tried playing golf and it's not an easy mm -hmm. sport and I'm not too good at it. So I congratulate you on winning your medal again. Thank you. And I think it's amazing you've been all over the world to playing golf. I think that's great. Harinder Ji, I would like to know that the Ontario Provincial Police has been organized every year for the Games. Why did the challenge of Peel Regional Police accept it? So every year, different police forces across Ontario select on them. So the Games are from July 13th to July 16th. The opening ceremony is happening at the Powerade Centre. The opening ceremony is happening at the Powerade Centre. And Peel Regional Police, people look at us just as a police force, but the community is both involved in there. We support a lot of charities because we like to be a part of the community. We're not just a police force, right? We want to assist the community. So it's something that we're always looking for to support other charities. And this is a great charity to be involved in. And you've seen the great stories. And there's many other stories besides Kevin of how people's lives have changed because of this charity. Okay. So Peer Regional Police, uh, and special thanks to PTC, yourself, and the channel. You guys really stepped through with the sponsorship and the advertising. And thanks to you. हम पंजाबी के मुट्ठी में वॉल्मेंट बहुत बढ़ेगी। जी। स्पॉन्सरशिप देना और ते वॉल्टियर्स देना और 600 वॉल्टियर्स आगे हो चुके। इसी पैसे भी कोई रेस कितने लार इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द वर्क दैट यू हैव डन। जी। सो आई वांट टू से थैंक यू टू योरसेल्फ इन द चैनल। जी हरेंद्र जी ऐसे संबंधी सारी गाल बात रही कि जारी पर फिलहाल समय हो गया एक छोटे जे ब्रेक दा बहुत जल्द वापस आने हैं एक छोटे जे ही ब्रेक तो बाद वेलकम बैक आफ्टर द ब्रेक uh, Mr. David, tell us about the story behind the golf. Like when he was watching his uncle playing golf, then he got inspired, and that the tag story we would really like to know. Well, his uncle Gary was Gary McCarthy. Yeah. He was a sports reporter. Well, he was with the CBC and everything else, but in his later years was a sports reporter for the Mississauga News. And he, he was, him and Kevin had a, always a great relationship from the time they were born. And he always loved to go visit his Uncle Gary, and because he was involved in sports and always out with sports and everything else, the two of them used to sit down and watch sports together. Gary was a passionate golfer. He golfed almost every day of his life that he could, and he sat and watched golf. And so Kevin would sit and watch golf with them, and they would talk about it and everything else, and they were great hockey fans together. So, you know, he's a Montreal Canadian fan because mm -hmm. they originally came from mm -hmm. Quebec, so that was... You know, I'm the poor Toronto Maple Leaf fan. But what happened was he got to see, and he loved being with his uncle, and he watched him uh, with his golf and saw how passionate it was. So he said, I would like to learn how to play golf. So at that time, there was no real special Olympics golf. We'd heard of it before. So we got some people together who started putting a program together. And Kevin started to learn to play and everything else. Now, his uncle being such a passionate golfer, you know, in order to play with his uncle, you had to be able to play golf, okay? Because his uncle was a real good golfer, and, you know. So he would, this wasn't going to be able to go out and hit a few balls Sorry. and be able to do it. So Kevin wanted to learn the game. And we found a couple of pros who were part of the program who wanted to donate their time to teach these athletes. And from there, our program started to develop, and Kevin found out, you know something, I kind of like this game. I want to learn this game. But his driving force was, I want to go play with my Uncle Gary. Mm -hmm. That was his driving force to do everything. Mm -hmm. So he started to learn. And he, you know, he was, he'd played for about four years taking lessons. And I mean, he's working out a couple of times a week, he's working out and everything else. And he started to get his game together. And all of a sudden, you know, his game was ready at the level, and unfortunately, uh, Gary got cancer. We found out in January he got cancer, and uh, by May he was gone. And uh, you know that was a that was a tremendous blow because they didn't get the chance to play. Hmm. 
But, you know, before uh, Gary passed away, he had a long talk with Kevin. They, the two of them had a private conversation. To this day, I don't know everything that was said. But I do know that Gary left him a set of clubs and uh, all his golf books, because he had golf books from every course in the world. So he left those and wrote in them to Kevin and everything else. And so uh, Kevin picked up from there. and. It's hard for me sometimes it gets emotional too and uh, so to this day he carries his uncle's driver in his bag and uh, you know he got to go and play in the last set of provincials you know he broke his mother's heart you know it's like hits the ball he says that's for you you know hmm. so it gets him going and when he went to the nationals that's where he wrote the tag that's on his bag today that I do this for my uncle and you know that's the way it is and uh, whenever he's out there even in Macau you know he said my uncle would be proud of me. We would like to know from Kevin uh, what changes he has seen himself in this journey with the Special Olympics. What have you done Kevin? Uh, I've done um, the golf off to go out there and, and play hey and I, I don't know. what are, what is, so what, so Kevin has golfing given you more confidence are you more comfortable in going out and meeting new people now or and playing golf with other people yes that's good yes. Uh, what sports do you play now Kevin um, right now uh, I do golf curling and five pin bowling. Oh wow. And over the years, can, because I was involved in starting all of the sports mm -hmm. and Special Olympics in Mississauga, Kevin is like your rink rat, so he's always with dad, so he has played every one of those sports. And over the years, what's happened is because once he got his job, then you have to start figuring everything else in. And we have to remember that a job for people with intellectual disabilities is, is a huge thing and it's important that he keeps it. So that's why he's gone down to three different sports. Mm -hmm. But that's good too because it allows him to become good. Instead of doing many things, you start to be good at, at the things that you can do the best. And right. you know, he's done very, he's an excellent curler. Five pin bowling, he won a championship this year. And in golf, you know, he's, we still have not yet seen what the limit is and where he can go and uh, what he can do. And, uh, but like I said... I'm sure I'm Kevin must be inspiration for many. Have you seen other intellectuals, like participants who have participated in this game after following Kevin? Yes. Bec it, within our own programs, okay, uh, in our golf program, okay, all of the others that are in the golf program and there, we, we've had others in the golf program that have moved on, but you know Kevin looked up to for the same reason. They were the top golfer. Kevin's the top golfer in Mississauga right now in spe Special Olympics, and the others yeah. do that. And Kevin works. You know, he's at the point now where he actually works with some of the ones that are starting out. The uh, coaches and the, and the pros that we have use Kevin as an example, and they also have him interact by working with uh, some of the ones that are just learning. Uh, Harinder, we would like to know, uh, this platform gives an opportunity to the community to come forward and adopt an athlete. How many ad athletes have been adopted so far? So, you just said a website to visit, current Pure Regional Police, the Special Olympics website, or the list of athletes have you? The list in our photo we have yet, only biography we have yet. That they just sponsor a concert like that, or a pound or dollar like you, you can sponsor an athlete. So, if you want a pound or dollar job, now you get a group of friends yes. together, uh, co-workers, mm -hmm. and all. You can sponsor an athlete. There's still a large number of athletes that are still available mm -hmm. uh, sponsorship. Like, yeah, but ask people to visit the website. You can get information. You can also donate on the website, mm -hmm. and we really do need more volunteers and a donation would be nice also to support people like Kevin 
and to also assist Pio Region itself for putting the games up this year. But community wello interest show kita ja rahe hai ki oh aa rahe ne aage aa rahe ne te athletes nu sponsor kar rahe ne kithe koi figure hai ki enne athletes hun tak sponsor kite ja chuke ne? Uh, mere ko exact figure nahi hai ki but I'm very proud jehdi Punjabi community they have come forward uh, sponsorships lay sponsoring athletes doing a donation there lay they volunteer list to be quite strong a sari community tho and I'm proud of the Punjabi community. We have a lot of excitement for the Special Olympics mm -hmm. from the Punjabi community. So it's good to see that we're in Canada. Mm -hmm. It's good to see our community get involved in organizations in Canada. Canadian history that you're not just stuff affecting our community. It's all about the Punjabi athletes. It's other South Asian athletes. So it's nice to see our community get involved. Yes. We're going to take a break from this story, but we'll take a break from this story. Welcome back after the break. Uh, Mr. David, we have always seen Kevin playing, but he's not only playing, he's attending many speeches, giving, meeting new people. Kevin is somebody who has, is infectious and he loves to be with people and he loves to talk with people. He gets nervous when he's in this kind of situation, but you know, you and I go and do a lot of different speeches. Yes. And you do a lot of different fundraising efforts and everything else, right? Yes, I do. You have fun doing that? Yes. And how is it meeting with new people? He likes to meet new people, don't you? Hey, yes, I do. Uh, 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 it's more fun for me to meet new people. Kevin is a person who loves to talk to people. He loves... He, he, you know, he's, he's an ambassador for the world type of thing, as if the rest of the world would take a look at, at the way these athletes are and they have no premonitions about anything and they just go and talk to anybody and want people to talk to them. It would be a great thing. Uh, one of the things I can mention, we, like we just came back from Macau hmm. and we went there and there were 25 different countries there. And what I was totally amazed at was here were 25 different countries Surprise, they all spoke English every, from every country mm -hmm. or every world. Yep. They all got together, but I watched Kevin with all the other athletes going around, and they didn't look at anyone differently. Everybody, they automatically got together, they mixed, they were talking together. He's now got friends from India and all around the world and different things like that that are already back mm -hmm. on Facebook. But it's like 25 different countries can come together with these people. It's like nobody looked at anybody any differently. They all joined together, and I thought the rest of the world could take a look at this, and maybe we wouldn't see all the other stuff that's oh, going problems, on in the world yeah. today. If these guys can do it, why yeah. can't the rest of us do it? Yeah. Sure. Harinder uh, Ji, you want to know that these games organized by SWARI are going to be done. So, if you want to organize any event, it's not easy. Nahi hunda. Yeah. But a special Olympics organized by Summer Games, which Volunteers the participation बहुत जरूरी होती है तो volunteers किन्ना को आगे आए नहीं volunteers काफी आगे आए हैं but volunteers always there's always a need for more volunteers तो if people just visit the website Special Olympics or Pure Regional Police तो ते you can sign up to volunteer तो ते requirements भी आएगा वे volunteers किस चीज़ ले चाहिए हैं और केवल ये सानू चाहिए हैं जी कोई venue ते कोई greet करे जी किस नो seat नहीं लाभ ली you tell them where to sit है ना and you help the athletes find their spot. So there's a large requirement for volunteers and there's a different type of volunteer opportunities also. Okay, the age of 13 to like a 16 July tak event chalna, it's a totally free event? Yeah, free event. Uh, then we're asking people to come visit and watch the games and TV that we televise on you. And there are different locations in the region of Peel and Caledon that we horn you to get the golf kid to go Caledon that you And then in Brampton we give them a you from Mississauga that we. The opening and closing ceremony is it open to public? It's open to the public. So July 13th opening ceremony at Bowery Center, the July 16th closing ceremony at Bowery Center. Well, and we're in inviting the whole community to come. It's uh, open to the whole community. Okay. Well, on that note, thank you so much for visiting our studio and sharing all this information with us. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Mr. David. Thank you, Anna. Right. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And we wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you.
ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹੀ ਅਪੀਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਵੱਧ ਚੜ ਕੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਉਣ ਨਾ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਪਲੇਅਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਐਥਲੀਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਬਲਕਿ ਚੇਅਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਲੈਨੇ ਆਏ ਇਜਾਜ਼ਤ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਅਗਲੇ ਹਫਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇਰ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਨਵੇਂ ਮੁੱਦੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਨਵੇਂ ਮਹਿਮਾਨਾਂ ਦ